friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We are in chapter 2 and moving to the next topic which is just the same as we earlier discussed. As the next segment of the same topic that is 2.3.2 code reviews and static code analysis to identify defects and technical depth. In this tutorial, we'll be trying to understand that how code review is basically helpful, putting it all together in terms of understanding that how a code review must be conducted in an agile environment and also adding some of the information with respect to conducting static code analysis. So here is what we have with us today, where we'll be getting in little details about the same. Now starting with the very first thing is code review how exactly it does working in the industry and how does it help the process to overcome some of the challenges like finding defects early, reducing the cost of quality and also adding more values in terms of increasing the productivity and making sure that it has a good collaboration of the testers as well at the same point of time. So when you talk about the Agile methodology, it is basically a collaboration of both of the members including the developers and testers where testers are also considered as uh, the part of uh, the development team and of course they also have a good grip on the programming understanding and they generally work with similar kind of things and help the programmers to review the code for them and then come up with of course a better output in terms of finding defects. So of course there are a lot of such resources uh, which can cause a constraint in terms of like issues like higher technical complexity than expected rapidly changing priorities and technical limitation. These, these may hinder efforts to write quality code and force programmers to make compromises that will decrease the quality of the code in favor of more immediate results. These compromises can also introduce defects and incur in technical depth. So the first of all, what you're talking about here is the compromising could be from the point of like misunderstanding or probably talking about working on a complex product which are probably new to the developers at the same time, rapidly changing priorities which generally comes from the uh, client side and at the same time the agile is ready to accept such changes. So it's common that generally people may go wrong or miss here and there a lot of things which probably leads to a lot of defects and at the same time we also say technical depth. Now we will be talking a little more about technical depth which we know from foundation. What is that technical depth? That means it basically refers to the increased effort that will be required to implement a better solution. So once you have a clear picture of any user story or any particular task when you're working on it, you do it efficiently and you don't have to have a proper rework every time when you get engaged with one or the other defect. But when it comes to a lot of such constraints which influence uh, uh, you know, the developers to make unwillingly a lot of mistakes definitely turns into a technical depth. That means it requires additional infer effort and information to rework on the created part. And we want to avoid that technical depth which is from the previous work. Whenever you close a particular task, you assume that you don't have to go back. But if you are going back, that is what you call it as technical depth. So of course, technical depth is often incurred unintentionally by subtle compromises or a gradual accumulation of small or unnoticed changes as a software involves. At the same time, besides helping identifying defects and manage technical depths, code analysis and review offer other additional benefits. What are they? Training and sharing knowledge, of course, as a part of uh, probably with the method of walkthrough, you can add more value in terms of sharing the information, improving the robustness, maintainability and readability of the code, providing oversight and maintaining consistent coding standards. So these are some of the important aspects from the basic understanding of code review and static analysis of code, which adds a lot of value to that. Further getting into the detail of code reviews specifically, of course, by in participating the code reviews, testers can use their unique perspective to make valuable contribution to the code quality by collaborating, working with programmers to identify potential defects and avoid technical depth at a very early stage. Of course, we do understand the review or static testing is something which fulfills the principle of early testing and life cycle and helps you to minimize defects to a lot of extent at a very early phase in the lifecycle model. 
and also it is a good collaboration to understand the other stakeholders that what are the things which are going to happen and how we are going to do that. They can also bring their expertise putting together like you know we talk about developers understanding and testers understanding and testers come from a validation background and they have a really good reputation in terms of understanding and validating the product so this put together can bring a lot of wonders happening in the project. Code reviews can also be uh, you know automated subjected we're talking about not completely executing the code we are talking about static analysis with help of tools but generally it is a good practice to do manual activities but there are certain defects which would be complicated to be found when doing manual activity of code review code reviews can also be performed with the reviewer or author or developer sitting side by side thus we call it as pair programming where two people are talking on that this mode which is common in ad hoc reviews and pair programming facilitates excellent communication and encourages deeper analysis and better knowledge sharing. On distributed teams or teams that prefer to have a more disconnected approach where probably when you talk about your teams which are distributed among different geographical regions and share a different time zone of course uh, we might find a little bit difficulty in coordinating with them. The code review process is facilitated by the configuration management system. So we can take care of the version control management and see that how revisions are taking place and what changes have taken place and based on that you can actually comment your findings. The process is usually partially automated as part of the continuous integration process. Additionally, when you talk about static analysis with, uh, of course, the static code analysis approach, in this, a tool analyzes the code and searches for specific issues without executing the code. The result of the static code analysis may point at clear issues in the code or provide indirect indicators that require further assessments. So these are some of the tools which basically analyzes some of the external part of the code which is being carried out or used from an open source code or probably if you talk about the unreachable code, dead code or such variables which are declared but never used then it would be quite complicated when you talk about doing them manually because probably you may have around 400, 500 lines of code and that would be quite complicated to relate everything just by reading out the code or referring to the code. So we have to take at some point of time the help of a static analysis tool which obviously minimizes your effort but is more effective in terms of finding such issues which are difficult to be found manually. Many development tools are available, especially integrated development environments can perform static code analysis while writing the code itself. It provides the benefit of immediate feedback though it may only be possible to apply just a subset of the analysis performed during the continuous integration. So this is what we had with respect to the code analysis and uh, of course the code review with respect to the codes uh, to make them up to the mark. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you and answer them. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the team and happy learning.